welcome to Pet Food Forum, the global event for the pet food industry. I'll be your host, keeping you up to date on everything Pet Food Forum related, right here on this channel. Stay tuned for interviews with industry experts, features from the show floor, and of course, the daily highlights. Pet Food Forum, where pet food professionals from all around the globe gather to learn the latest research and innovative information on pet food nutrition, global market growth, processing, packaging, and so much more. We're coming to you from Kansas City, Missouri, the heart of the Animal Health Corridor. Hi there, welcome back to Pet Food Forum TV. I'm Kristen Levine and I'm joined by David Sprinkle, who is the Research Director of Package Facts. David, welcome. Thank you very much, good to be here. Excellent, so you had a, a, a great session, I, I understand. I'm sorry I, I missed I'm just, it. I'm just hot off a session. <laughs> we had, um, we, I gave a talk on clean label and transparency. Yes. And um, this, the, the huge trend now in the food industry, which is turning over to the pet food industry. And what we talked about is what, what do pet parents expect? in terms of clean label and transparency. Right. And what Give we talked about, expectations. we actually did um, some surveys for Pet Food Forum for this presentation. And there was sort of good news and bad news. Um, the bad news is that consumers expect a lot of things. <laughs> and a lot of times they're contradictory. So they want things that are natural and organic, but also convenient, but also fresh, but also low priced. <laughs> they want it to be comfort food, they want but they want it to be functional too. They want, you know, they want, they want a comfort food that solves skin and health problems. Uh, it's getting coat problems, I'm sorry. So um, there's a whole thicket of consumer expectations. But we had some nice data on that. Um, we had some data on the facts, um, un somewhat unfortunate. There's a lot of skepticism about the integrity of pet foods and pet food marketers. Although the good news, the, the, the bright side of that coin, is that consumers do trust the brands and products they actually use. So there are a lot of companies out there, there are a lot of great products out there. Consumers are able to find the products that they want. Um, and as it turns out, dogs and cats are very happy with the taste of their pet foods. Yes. So, there, so there's good news there. And then the concluding point was really a focus on innovation. Because there are very competing expectations and demands in terms sure. of price point and organic. But um, make a meaningful innovation that is in keeping with the overall trend toward clean label and transparency and full disclosure. And you can certainly take that step forward and have a successful product based on that. Well, thank you, David. Great You're information. Appreciate you being here. Okay, it was a pleasure. And we'll be back with more on Pet Food Forum TV. Known as the barbecue capital of the world and for its live jazz, Kansas City is a gracious and historic blend of cultures, arts, and professional sports teams, and it also features vibrant restaurants, hotels, shops, and art galleries. 